Hi everyone. Seth Alchemist here. First of all, I would like to thank you very much for your subscriptions, for your likes and comments. It truly means a lot to me. You guys are wonderful. And for those of you who are new in this channel, welcome. I'm Seth Alchemist. I do tarot readings and I'm an occultist. Today is a pri uh, not private. Today is a collective tarot reading. <laughs> It's not private. Maybe it's private for some of you. Maybe for some of you it's going to resonate 100%. But it's a uh, collective tarot reading, so not everything might resonate. But if you want a private reading, if you want a personal reading, you can find it at sephalchemist.com. Link in the description box below, along with other services, my other YouTube channels where I share occult wisdom and knowledge. Check everything out. Today, it is a message from Spirit about what are your abilities? What are your powers? You came here for a reason and you came with certain gifts and abilities. So what are they? Maybe you are not clear about what these gifts and abilities are. So let's see what they are. I'm going to use this beautiful tarot deck to channel the message for you. Is ma on naros aklus kere eskarumen ech es molech. Korrasus on nisnech eren shis arole nekeres morah ikalere umah ik as oren. Interesting. Okay, what do we have here? The first card that I pulled here was this beautiful Ten of Swords reversed. Followed by the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles and then the Three of Pentacles reversed. Here what spirits tell me as I saw this, these cards, and especially the first card, is that your gifts and abilities, they're very dark, they're very beautiful, and they come from the underworld. You're connected to the underworld. You're connected to the world, to the realm of creatures and demons and, <laughs> and things that don't make sense. And that's where your power comes from. You see here we have this kind of whirlpool. It's in the middle. That's where your soul came from. This is like the portal to the underworld, the portal to the darkness. And we have the snakes, the guardian reptiles that are guarding this door here. Not everyone... And anyone can go through or come uh, come through it. But your soul is from there. That's your origin. And here we have it reversed because reversed, it's pointing to the downward, to the below. And as above, so below anyways. So don't think that it's the this darkness or this underworld is something bad. It's just a it's just another version of existence. But the the beauty of this place the characteristics is that it's very powerful it's really really powerful so your gifts and abilities have to do with connecting to spirits to demons to what some label as the jinns from the arabic tradition and you can talk to these dark entities also like mythical creatures like cerberus and like certain types of dragons that come from the underworld. You can communicate with these spirits. In fact, you've known them and you've hanged out with them and you've traveled with them when you were living in that other dimension. I'm just calling it the underworld or darkness for lack of better terms. But it's a different dimension. It's not the dimension of Earth. It's not. It's, it's something different from Earth. And this power is called, I've seen it here with this blue icy shape, that's very balanced. The above is like the below. And it's also pinnacle, so it's very grounded. It's very solid because it's the earth element. Its power is very cold. It's not warm. So you might come off as very cold to people or unfriendly. Or you have this resting face that's very uh, scary. People cannot approach you very easily. But be that's because of your power. If you're one of these people, if whatever I'm describing right now, if you're like that, that means that's where your power is coming from and that's what your power is. You have this intimidating 
uh, aura about you. You have this intimidating look. And people always think that you're a scary person. And you wonder always why th why people think I'm scary. What's I'm not scary, but people, that's how they see you. Because you... Um, you 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 give off this this kind of uh, this vibe that's or this aura that make people like you know cautious that's because of your power and here we have the the, the three of pentacles reversed meaning that this power you're uh you're not really using it properly in this lifetime this connection to the darkness, this connection to the underworld, you're not using it properly. You're kind of wasting it because the three of pentacles here, three is the number of the wise person, is the number of the master, but it's reversed. And your element is definitely earth, but this power that you have, you're not using it to your advantage. You're not using it to help people. You're not using it to practice the occult, because people like you are the ones who are supposed to practice the occult. It's people with powerful energies. You're the kind of person who, for example, if you hex, the hex is going to work. So, but of course, you have to hex the person who deserves it. You can't just go around hexing every, anyone and everyone. And maybe it's the reason why you're not activating that power yet, because you're not ready to activate that power yet. Because that power comes with responsibility, with a lot of responsibility. Because when you have a lot of power, you can do good with it of course but you can harm you can do harm with it as well and you don't want to harm others who don't deserve it you know people make mistakes and there are some people who might get on your nerves sometimes or some people you don't like but it doesn't mean that they need punishment it doesn't mean that they need to be hexed people who need to be hexed are the people who actually harm others in a very serious way those are the ones who need hexing so you need to be ready to have this, uh, to, to re ready to use this power, but you have it. And Spirit wants you to know that uh, practicing the occult, researching it, and trying to find ways to use this power, to transmute it, to, to, to get it out of you, is what's going to lead you to activating it. So you can become the master that you are. All right, cards are very jumpy here. Ahmos Kurele, Sik Larosh, Kisah Ale. Here we have the Eight of Swords, reverse. Do you look at this? Look at this reverse, and we have snakes again. Just like the first card, which is the portal. Spirit, the the Eight of Swords reversed is saying here. Spirit is telling you. It's almost like your mission in this lifetime, it's your duty to activate these powers. There's no running away from it. You have to do it. It's like right now you're running away from it. You try to fit in, you try to be normal, you try to act like you're just a normal person. But you're this powerhouse that's intimidating. You're, you're this crazy walking ball of dark energy. <laughs> but again, when people hear dark, they think it's malicious, they think it's bad. I'm not talking about bad in this channel i don't talk about anything that's harmful okay just so you so you so you 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 understand what i'm trying to say i mean dark energy that can be used for good dark energy that's beautiful dark energy that's powerful dark energy that very few people have and you have it yet you're trying to fit in and you're trying to show others that you're just a normal person that you're just like a fluffy person <laughs> <laughs> and the problem is that nothing is going to work out for you in your life that's what i'm hearing from spirit unless you own this power and start using it in your everyday life rituals sigils tarot channeling all of these you need to research and start practicing because i'm hearing from spirit that you're meant to be a practitioner an occult practitioner. Here have we have the King of Wands because this is your true nature. It's who you are. You're the King of Wands. See the snake again. The snake is another theme here. Is the Kundalini 
coming from the root chakra all the way to the crown and spraying. It's like an explosion to spirit. In the sun and the moon, the divine masculine, the divine feminine, the light and the dark. Perfect balance between the two of them. Because that's who you are meant to be. That's who, I, who, who you are supposed to be, the king of wands. But you need to practice, you need to research, and you need to believe that that's who you are. Not run away from it. It's not going to serve you good. We have the six of pentacles. This is going to also bring you abundance. It's going to bring you uh, financial abundance. Um, because you're going to be in your element. Once you start practicing the occult, once you start using these powers, which is to connect to spirits and demons and deities and invoke them and uh, hex or unhex or do rituals for manifestation or for abundance or for whatever, using your powerful energy for good. Once you start doing that, abundance is going to follow through. Abundance is meant to be in your life through your practice. Beautiful reading. A major arcana, the high priestess. Again, spirit is saying this is this is who you are. And the high priestess, what does she? What is she known for? Is she's known for knowledge. She's known for holding the knowledge of the spirit. And she's she also she's she's very knowledgeable about the physical. So she's she's uh, the doorway. She has that balance. She knows both worlds very well. And you are supposed to be that. You are supposed to be. The high priestess or the high priest if you will if you're uh if you're a male figure you're in uh that position to become the high priestess but you just need to activate it and you have that power spirit spirit wants me to confirm to you that you have that power because i i'm hearing some of you saying but i'm not sure if i have that power you have it just ask sometimes some strangers don't ask your friends ask some strangers if if you have this intimate and intimidating vibe about you or if you look scary or if you look not easy to approach or if people think twice before they tell you something just ask around see what people say about you and if that's the case then that's that's what you're supposed to be <laughs> and one last card we have the king of Pentacles. High Priestess, King of Pentacles, and earlier the King of Wands. All of these beautiful cards. Look at this. Not only you're this wise master, not only you're the High Priestess, but you're this, this unbelievable entity that's just, it looks like a god. It looks like one of the, the ancient gods from some civilization. These gods that have everything that are ma magicians that can manifest from thin air. The gods that created humanity. The gods that ruled on earth for millions of years. The gods that we don't, we've never even heard of. That's what your potential is. And that's who you are. But that's already who you are in the other dimension of darkness, dimension of the underworld, that's already who you are. So, amazing reading. I hope it resonates with you. Let me know in the comment section if this resonates or if you have any comments or questions. Thank you very much. I appreciate your support and I'll see you in the next reading. Schismach. Er will es kurren, um mich ist Schuss.